Miss Julie will have story time for us. Now. Okay, now it's on. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Glad to see you girls here this morning. Um, so today, I am actually going to tell you a story that somebody else told. So it's not really plagiarism, right, if I tell you it's from somebody else? <laughs> um, but would somebody like to read a verse in the Bible before we start? Okay. It is, we're going to look at Genesis 2, and I want you to read verse 7. formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. Amen. Thank you. And so real quick I'm just going to tell you this is the Andrews Study Bible and, and what it says about that about the breath of life. It says the divine life giving breath of God transforms man from dust to a creature made in the image of God. So this story today is, is about God and, and his breath, his breath of life. He is the breath. He gives us life. If we're not breathing, we're not alive, right? So with that being said, I'll share this story. And again, I'm going to tell you it was not written by me. Um, somebody way more clever than me probably a little more studious than me. <coughs> Uh-oh, my update. I haven't been in my notes since the update, sorry. Okay, here we go. So we read Genesis 2-7 about God when he created us from the dust and gave us his breath, his divine breath and created us in his image. This post that I'm going to tell you, I, I found this on the internet, and I came across it probably, I don't know, about a year ago, and it just blessed me. I, I just, it was just one of those things that you just went, wow, I, I never thought of that, I didn't know that, and I go back to it all the time, and so I want to share it today as a children's story, um, because it really did bless my heart, and I hope it blesses your heart. It was originally written by a woman named Sandra Thurman, and this is what it says. There was a moment when Moses had the nerve to ask God what his name is. God was gracious enough to answer, and the name he gave is recorded in the original Hebrew as Y-H-W-H. Over time, we have added an E and an A to get Yahweh. And I know we've all heard Yahweh. And that's probably because we have a preference for vowels. But scholars and theologians have noted that the letters Y-H-W-H actually rest, represent breathing and aspirated consonants. When pronounced without the intervening vowels, it actually sounds like breathing. Y-H, inhale. And W-H, for exhale. So, a baby's first cry, his first breath speaks the name of God. A deep sigh calls his name. A groan or a gasp that is too heavy for mere words. Even an atheist would speak his name unaware that their very breath is giving that constant acknowledgement of God. Amen. Likewise, a person, when they die, with their very last breath, they speak his name. When, when God's name is no longer filling their lungs. So, when I can't utter anything else, my cry is calling out his name. B, 
Being alive means that I am speaking his name constantly. It is heard the loudest when I'm the quietest. In sadness, we breathe heavy sighs. In joy, our lungs feel almost like they could burst. In fear, we hold our breath and have to be told to breathe slowly to help us calm down. When we're about to do something hard, we take a deep breath to find our courage. When you think about it, breathing, the mere act of breathing is giving him praise, even in the hardest moments of our lives. This is so beautiful and it fills me with emotion every time I grasp the thought that God chose to give himself a name that we can't even help but speak. Every moment that we're alive, all of us, always, everywhere, waking, sleeping, breathing, with the name of God on our lips. His name fills our lungs. God gave us everything. He gave us our breath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I hope you like that because it really, very touching. Does somebody want to pray? Jesus, thank you for the blessing of another Sabbath day. May you help us and may you help us remember to praise your name always. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.